Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the review channel. Today, if you own an SL2 or are thinking of buying an SL2 to do your live streaming with, I have three ways that we're going to discuss on how you can do that. They do cost, okay? And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you two ways that you can do it for free. And we'll start right after this. Okay, in case we haven't met before, my name is John Bell. I'm a retired school teacher and now a full-time YouTuber with varying degrees of success. <laughs> okay, we're going to start this off by uh, taking a look on Amazon, okay? Uh, this is one of the uh, capture devices that I have. It's an HDMI to uh, USB 3.0 capture device. And I'm going to be showing you how to hook this up. And show you a sample of it okay as you can see here this cost eighty dollars from amazon now this is an off-brand um, uh, it'll record 1080p 60 frames a second okay which is uh good because i've got my sl2 set for uh, 1080p 30 frames a second so this will record 30 or 60 it doesn't matter and now I'm going to show you how you set this up okay okay you see here's my SL2 camera okay and the screen on it okay now remember um, I use screen capture software, XSplit. There'll be a link in the description below if you if you want to try it. It's free. Okay. They do have paid versions also. Um, but remember, it's a screen capture. It captures what's on your screen. And you can see here on my screen, okay, it's not capturing it yet. But I got a whole bunch of stuff on here that's got to be cleaned up before I want to use it. I don't want to record it like this. Now, the funny thing about Canon, if I take the record button here and I, and I press it, okay, you see it goes in record mode, the red light is on, and it lost a bunch of the icons around it. But it is not recording any of this stuff on the screen okay it records just my image okay so i'll shut that off get back all my icons um so the way it does it is uh you saw the the thing it has a mini hdmi plug okay that plugs in the side of the camera into the capture card the capture card into a usb 3.0 i can pick it up on my screen recording software okay using this capture card this 80 dollar capture card and i'll show you what it looks like now watch what happens when i plug this cable in The display just went out okay so I can't monitor the camera but there are ways around this um, a Canon software which is free you can download it from their website they have a, um, a remote shooting uh, app and it will allow you to monitor on your cell phone or tablet or a laptop what this camera is actually seeing and now i'll show you the output of it 
Okay, I need to add, give me one second here. Okay, now, you notice here that I have all these icons and everything around it. So I don't want these because it's recording this right now. So we'll go back to here. I'll unplug this. Okay, the way you get rid of these icons here, it, two things you have to do. Number one, you press the info button in the back. And it will cycle through. Now you see I, I have all the icons gone, but I still have my face tracking on there. I don't want that either. So I have to press the shutter button halfway down. Make sure it's being auto-focused. And then change the lens over to manual. Now I have a clean HDMI output. Okay. I plug this in now. Okay. Switch over to the capture card. And there it is. Well, a little out of focus. Okay. Um, now, I want to go back. I want to unplug this and go back. Because... You can see it's kind of bleached out. So I want to put my things up here. I have to go to exposure. Um, uh, exposure, exposure, exposure. Where are you at? Uh, okay, I want to bring it down two thirds of an F stop. Okay, clean up the output. Okay, and now plug it in again. Sorry, I didn't switch over to the other screen so you can see it, but okay, there's the capture card there. Okay, now you can see it looks a little out of focus. But these are things, I'm still working on it to try and figure out how it does it. There's no software that came with this card. It's a, it's a you know, third-party off-brand card. And uh, it, uh, it works fine enough, okay? Uh, but there are better ones out there, okay? So, now... You notice here, I put up here, <clears throat> right up here at the top, okay, Logitech Brio, this is recording 4K, 30 frames a second, on a USB 3.0 cable, okay? Because we're, we're doing HDMI, we're doing USB today, uh, I'll put on each screen exactly what the output is, so you don't get uh, uh, too carried away. Okay, the next one up is, second way of doing this now, is um, a USB connection, okay, and it's Sparkle Cam. So any Canon or Nikon DSLR, or I should say almost any, uh, it says use Canon, Nikon, DSLR as a regular webcam. So I guess it's pretty much all of them. Okay. Um, and here's the download button right there. You just download it. It's sparkle, sparklecam.com. You download it. You install it. Follow the instructions. No big deal. Uh, and then... Over here is, uh, there's a free version, okay, and then a standard license here, a single user with free upgrades for one year is $70. Uh, single user license includes future upgrades for free is $100, 
okay, and a multi-user license, including free upgrades for one year. Um, now, if you if you just have a Canon DSLR, which I do, okay, it drops the price down a little bit, okay. Now this, I, all I could use this for is Canon now, not anything else, okay. And you see down here, there's one for Nikon, etc. Okay, so I can drop the price down to seventy dollars, which includes all f future upgrades for free. So you might be saying to yourself, well, I'll just use the free version. That's all I need. Hold that thought, okay? <laughs> because we'll get back to that in just one moment. Okay, so uh, give me a second to uh, get this set up, and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Now, this is the Sparkle Cam software here. And then I, with my screen capture uh, uh, software, I made just to pick up this area, just the window area, and this is it here. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is a, a fairly good picture. Okay. Here is the real webcam. Here's the sparkle cam. You can see there is a little bit of difference in it. Of course, now remember this is being recorded at 4K. This is only being recorded at 1080p. Okay. Um, here again, you have to play with your camera settings. Now the nice thing about sparkle cam is if you look here, see I can adjust my camera settings right here. Okay, I don't have to unplug it and go to, uh, you know, uh, go back to my camera and set my exposure and, and whatever I want. Uh, now, you can also see I have the ability to record through this software, but I don't, okay? I, I record through my screen capture software. Now, back when we were talking about, why is that not showing? Oh, it is, okay. Um, uh, this, see, I'll just use the free, vision, uh, free version. You see what you have up here? The great big watermark. I mean, there's no getting around that one. Sparklesoft.com and a big eyeball, you know. Now, the good thing about this is it works first time, every time. That's number one. Number two, it's very easy to use, very easy to set up. Okay. The cons are it costs $50 just to be able to get rid of this watermark. Basically, that's, that's all you're doing. So, um, you know, you can't record with this watermark and put it on, on, on YouTube. So, um, you know, they you can try it all you want with this watermark. Make sure, get all your camera settings, everything you want. Then go on their website and buy it. You put in the license that they email you. And then all of a sudden, your watermark is gone. So, okay. All right, the next one up is Camlink, okay? Uh, let me close this. Let me go to, um, maybe Amazon, okay, give me a second. I, not prepared here. Uh, okay, Amazon. Uh, and go to Cam Link. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So now, here I am on Amazon. This is Camlink. You see this is $130. Okay. This is from Elgato. This is top of the line. So, uh, you know, it's pricey at $130. Now, it only does the exact same thing that first one I showed you did, that off-brand capture card. Okay. And the picture on that wasn't bad. So, now I have to go set this up. And I'll be right back with you. And... <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll show you how this works. Um, so just one moment. Okay, and we're back. Okay. This is the Camlink software. Okay. Now you notice how bright and how um, defined everything is. Everything's in focus. I mean, this is a much, much better thing. Now, it cost $130, okay? Uh, it does come with, you know, screen recording software and game recording software. You can download the four different packages they have. Uh, if you want to use that for that, I use my screen recorder, okay, for... Uh, for this and all this was is just make sure the HDMI feed was clean you know there were no icons or anything on it like I showed you before and just plug the HDMI cable from the other capture card into the Elgato boom fired right up right with what you see here okay um I don't know if I'm going to need this anymore, but you never know. Um, so this is a super deal. Now I have seen this, these, these on sale for as low as uh, $110 on Amazon. So um, I paid $130. So, you know, by the way, everything on here, okay, I bought okay for full price okay uh, none of this was given to me none of it was given to me at a discount okay so this is heads up legit okay so let's go back to the brio now okay now i am going to let's see i gotta go down here um now for the two bonus items that I told you about. One of them, there's an older version of EOS software that's floating around on the internet. You can still download it. It still works fine with the SO2. There's no problems with it. Uh, it's called EOS Camera Movie Recorder. EOS is EOS. Okay, camera movie recorder. Okay, so that's one way. Okay, that you do it through USB, just like the uh, uh, Sparkle Cam was. Okay, and then you can cut out the section you want for on your screen recorder so it doesn't record, you know, everything. It just records the output. And that's one way okay the sec the second one and this is the better one of the two is when you get your sl2 camera there's a card in there that says to go on canonusa.com okay and download the software from it they got all kinds of software for this uh i downloaded a digital photo professional Thing. So you can retouch and, and, and change your your photos. Uh, I ordered that EOS camera movie recorder. Now, I didn't get that from Canon's website because they no longer support it, but it works fine. And it's real easy to set up. I downloaded the EOS utility 
That's the one where you can control it with remote, okay, remote monitoring. And it also has a, um, let's see, what do you call it here? Uh, <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to have to set this up. i got to connect my camera to it. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just take a quick break again, and uh, we'll be right back through the miracle of television. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you start to finish on how to hook up to this uh, uh, Canon utility. Okay, first of all, here you see uh, I have the camera uh plugged in uh on the usb cable to a usb 3.0 port so from the camera to the thing the display is off okay like i showed you before when you do it with hdmi all there is is a little computer icon on the screen that's it um so uh what you do is you fire up the eos utility here Oops, wrong one over here. Okay, and it says, what do you want to do? That's the computer. See, because I have this cable hooked up to the USB port, it's thinking that I want to download, you know, my pictures. But I can change camera settings or I can go to remote shooting. So I'm going to pick remote shooting. All right, now I'm going to have to move my face out of the way here. Uh, all right, I'll move it over here. Okay. Uh, here's my... Uh, well, hold on just one second. Okay, <clears throat> we're back. All right, I, you see I have this uh, hooked up here. Uh, it's on manual focus. Uh, it's not pictures. It's 1 60th of a second shutter speed, f4.0. Uh, it's my lens. Okay, I can turn on flashes, set other things here. But I want to go view live shoot. Okay, so there it is. So let me move this down out of the way. Uh, maximize it. Okay, now here you can see the picture. Okay, so now I want to go over here. Give me just one second. And I want to capture this screen. Okay. There it is. Just that easy. Okay. Now you can do the same exact thing with the older version of this. It's called EOS, uh, what I say it was? EOS uh, Movie Camera Recorder. Okay, and the nice thing about all this, uh, I'll, I'll press the info button just to just to show you. Okay, <clears throat> is this one? Okay, this EOS utility. Okay, I'm not recording. Okay. In the, in the camera itself, the only place I'm recording it is on this screen, okay? In my screen capture software. But I have, if we go back here and look here, you see, I'm recording and I have my full screen where I can monitor this, okay? See, 4.0, 4 
lens, 60th of a second, the exposure minus two thirds of an f stop. Okay. So now, here I have the ability to monitor my camera, <clears throat> which none of the other ones would let me do. Okay? Every time I plugged in a USB cable or a um, HDMI cable, the screen would go blank. So then if I wanted to monitor what was going on, I had to go to a remote app and um, uh, to be able to monitor it, okay, because the screen was blank. Here, I just showed you the screen is live still. I can monitor this. Now, this particular point, this is the bonus that I promised you. The other one was that EOS Movie Recorder. You do the same thing with it. You set it up like this and then and then tell it, uh, I want to screen record, and then you pick where you want to record it from where to where, and uh, it puts it in the software automatically. Okay. So this I discovered totally by accident. I was just playing around with this, and I said, you know, if I have this on the screen, I should be able to record this. And so I fired up XSplit, just, you know, a new presentation, nothing on it, and just made a screen capture of this area here to here, you know, all the way around, and voila, <laughs> okay? Now, if you look on YouTube, you're going to see everybody and their brother says Sparkle Cam. Every, everybody and their brother says Elgato. Okay? They don't even tell you about these off brand ones like I did. Okay? I just wanted to show you the difference. Okay? The um, picture quality, the Elgato had all of these beat, hands down. Okay? But, Elgato is $130. This right here is free, okay? So I'm sure that will resonate to a lot of you out there, okay? Uh, anything mentioned in this video, there's links down below here, wherever, down below in the description to everything in this video, okay? Um, so, uh, let me go back, let me switch off. Now here's, here's the SL2, the free, okay? Here is the Logitech Brio, okay? Now this is shooting in 4K. So you can see, you know, the picture looks a little brighter, a little bit more in focus, but it's 4K, okay? This camera cost $160, okay? I've already got the SL2. So this is free, okay? <laughs> so this is a good way, you know, if you want to just go right to a DSLR to start you're live streaming or recording, doesn't matter, either one, okay? Um, you can bypass the webcam stage because I, I started out, I bought a, a C920 Logitech that was 1080p, 30 frames a second, okay? Then I went up to the Brio, okay? That's 4K, 30 frames a second. That's right here, okay? Now, you can't squawk about that quality, okay? But, um, like I said, it's $160. If you already have an, S an SL2, or you're just getting into this and thinking about getting an SL2 rather than a webcam, I'd say here's the way to do it. 
free picture right here. Okay. Now, SL2's got pros and cons, the live streaming and, and, and everything. The nicest part, well, let me show you. Uh, I can I can go back here. If you notice here, we've been on this screen for, I don't know what, 20 minutes or so. And if you look here, okay, you see it's movie mode and there's an M for manual. And then 2959 and full battery. Well, full battery is because I have a, a battery replacement, an AC battery replacement in the SL2. That's about $20. So you don't have to stop. And I'm not recording on the SO2. Okay. You notice the record light is not on here. The the time. Now that's all it'll record. It'll only record 30 minutes and then stop automatically. And then you got to restart it if you want to go more. Okay. However, this way, just live streaming, I'm not recording through the camera. I can do this all day long, okay? It doesn't matter. So, if you want to get involved in live streaming and you want to move right into a DSLR, now this will work with a lot of other Canon products, you know, 70Ds, 80Ds, you know, 1Ds, 5Ds, you know, geez, it'll work with thousands of them, okay? But the SL2 is small, it's compact, it's light, okay? It has the flip out screen, okay? This way you can monitor your output at I would say just a, a small degradation in the picture quality compared to that. So, this or this. This is $160. This is free. Okay. So, until next time, I hope you got thing. Please, you know, uh, like this video. Share it with your friends and family or anybody that you think might be interested in it. Subscribe and ring the bell notification and you get sent whenever I put out a new video, it goes right to your inbox. Okay, so until next time, John Bell signing off. This is John Bell again, thanking you for watching reviews. If you watch this on Facebook, please like it. If you've seen this on YouTube, please subscribe. And until next time, this is John Bell signing off, thanking you again. That's all, folks.